Hello and welcome back to our journeyman career. This is the start of season number four. Uh, we are with Rosenborg again for another season. We're going to hope to take the uh, the title this year. I want to move on to group number three. We still got our Austrian job. Uh, the Euros are alive, but I think we're out of those. Um, so hopefully the the managers of of Austria don't come back and say, "Look, piss off, mate," because that was the last thing that we would want in this career mode. Um, so let's just jump into this one. I want to cover a few things here in today's episode, but uh, we'll get to those. Let's jump in. It's season number four. Transfer window is open. I'm out scouting some of the new free agents that have been uh, populated. Uh, we'll see if we can make some signings here just to bolster up Rosenborg a bit more for a charge. Um, only just missed out last season. So uh, we get another season here with Rosenborg. We can bring some more youth talent into this team and we can keep scouting Austria and try and build them into a powerhouse for the future. I want to say thanks for the comments on the last episode. A lot of good history lessons there, um, apparently. So Austria haven't won anything. So it would be nice to stay a hold of Austria for the entirety of this career mode and try and win them some sort of trophy. So let's get into season number four. Right, so for the simulations uh, that you, you see keep coming in, uh, I generally just leave the, the default squad there. It's got the best players in there, and, and that's what we're trying to push through rather than using the DK formation. I'll just let them go. Uh, I swap to the DK formation for when we actually play the games. Um, so, I mean, our squad is looking okay. We probably need some more defensive depth coming into this team. Um, I've got uh, Agda Bonero up front. Uh, he can play striker. Gallo's out on the right, even though he's a left winger. Um, and Tronson is out on the left. So, I mean, uh, we're probably a little bit short in regards to wingers. And uh, defensively, um, still got Lord Bentner there on the bench. And uh, a lot of youth talent is into this team. So, uh, you know, they're going to come along. Gruber, the Austrian striker. Well, he's low at the moment, but uh, give him a few seasons. But we probably, for the simulations, do need to bolster. We need to get a few more 70, 75 plus players uh, in here if there's any free agents floating around. And uh, put a bit more training into these lads so that, you know, they're a real strong team. Uh, they can keep performing, and then these young lads can come through in the later stages of the career mode, grow into worldly beasts, and take over this team, and hopefully have them playing Champions League football for seasons to come. So let's get in to season number four. All right, pre-season tournament invites. Not sure how much money we've got to play with. Um, uh, I always take a look and see if there's a possibility of playing one of our forward teams, but there's no Shamrock Rovers in this one. Um, so let's take on the European International Cup, see if we can generate some more funds here for Rosenborg. All right, monthly scouting report is back from Spain. Let's have a look here. Jordi Garcia, 48 to 66, 71 to 94. 250 gram, we'll sign him in. Uh, Valentin Prado, 130 gram. We'll just hold off on him just for now, and we'll continue to scout Spain. All right, Austria, what have you got for us? Tobias Binder, uh, 140. Uh, Killian Winkler looks all right as well. Uh, Anton Meyer, okay, I mean the valuations aren't quite there. We, we need high rated players uh, to start building up this team. So uh, I'll give them another month to mature and we'll see how they're looking. It's fine if other clubs pick up Austrians, I don't care. It's all adding to our World Cup pool. All right, and Norway, of course, Mo. G'day, Mo. Um, no, nothing this month. All right. Right, just taking a quick look at the European Championships, and it is Italy and Belgium playing off in the final. And it's eventually Belgium taking the European Championships 2-1 over Italy. Right, so the uh, the preseason starting up here. We're just going to do the, the simulation. Now, this is what I want to ask you. I might put a vote up. Uh, maybe just let me know in the comments. Uh, with this series, do you want to see these simulations or would you rather just see the one game a month and then give you like a monthly wrap up of what's happened in all the games? Uh, obviously, you won't know who scored all the goals and all that kind of stuff. I'll just quickly run through the results um, and maybe speed things up, make these episodes a little bit shorter. You'll still get the same amount of content, but we won't be using like, a, you know, 20, 30 seconds on every simulation. So let me know in the comments and if I remember, I will chuck up a little poll in the top right hand corner. You probably see it pop up by now, but we lose the first one there, sending the reserves out 1-0. Right, we'll send the first team out here against Cagliari, and it's a 1-1 draw. Garlo got himself a goal from the penalty spot. Right, we'll send the first team out here against Utrecht, or Utre, or I don't know, but it's another 1-1 draw, and that'll probably see us out of the competition. Well, we've got a million, but uh, I don't know. Let's go and have a look at our current funds. Right, objectives for this season now. Uh, we'll grow one youth academy player by five. And then play him in five matches. Well, hopefully we can do that. Brand exposure, sell out 
Uh, 50% of home games. Knockout stage of the Euro League. Domestic success is critical. Win the title and win the cup. So we're going to have to really focus here on uh, the Norwegian League. And um, I think that will be our number one. You know, we need to get promoted. So, or promoted. You know, we need to win the title so that we can move on to Group 3. And financially, within three seasons, increase the club worth by 20%. Well, I'm not sure we'll be here that long, hopefully. Now, the transfer budget is looking very, very healthy. So we can definitely... Uh, go and buy some free agents. I'll keep some money there just in case some of those Shamrock Rovers players do come up uh, under bid. Um, but I am looking to try and upgrade the Austrian scout again. I might burn a bit more cash trying to find a five-star, five-star. Right, interest shown in Nile O'Connor. Uh, Fluminense have gone in with a nine and a half million uh, offer. So uh, th what this means, I've seen a few comments about this. So this is how we do this. So uh, interest has been shown in Nile O'Connor. It means that we can go and now talk to Nile O'Connor and see if we can bring him to Rosenborg. So let's jump in and uh, see if we can bring Nile O'Connor to the Norwegian side. All right, let's meet with Nile O'Connor. We brought him to Shamrock, and now it looks like we're going to try and bring him across to uh, hook up with Galo here at Rosenborg. So uh, let's see if we can get some business done. His value is $8 million. We know there was a $9.5 million board offer on the play, so we will offer a transfer fee. We need to at least beat that, so we're going to go straight in with a flat 10 and see if they are willing to take this new offer. Right, they've come back. They want 11.2 and a 5% transfer clause. We've got the cash, so I am going to accept this. Done. Let's see if we can agree terms. Right, he wants a, uh, a crucial role. I think we can offer him that. We don't actually have, other than Galo, a proper left midfielder, so we'll accept that. All right, now he's only on 2-8. Let's, uh, let's offer him a four-year deal. Yep, sweet. Uh, disregard the release clause. All right, salary. Well, he's on some decent money. Let's, uh, we've got money to play with, so... Uh, oh, he's a 75 rated, so he's going to want some coin. Let's start with 15. And uh, a signing bonus of 50 grand. Fair offer. Sweet. Niall O'Connor, welcome to Rosenborg. Right, so with the purchase of O'Connor, he's going to play on the right, Garlow on the left. And uh, that sort of strengthens us up a little bit. We probably need some defenders. We'll have to see what plays out here in this transfer window. Right, Maximilio Palacios is a right back on the free agency list. 2.2 uh, valuation. Um, he's rejected a couple of offers there, so let's see if we can uh, delegate to sign him and see if we can bring him here to Rosenborg. Uh, just taking a look, these are the other free agents we've got floating around at the moment. I'm just going to hold off. It's really defensive players that we need. I will get some more reports back on some more players, and we're keeping an eye on these lads from Shamrock. Right, U Squad monthly report, Ojeda 80 to 86. Uh, Mikkelbus' brother is uh, 83 to 89. Thor Johannesson 65 to 85. He's dropped off. Oliver Hamilton 80 to 86. Steiner Rasmussen 79 to 85. Jordi Garcia 80, uh, 76 to 94. Uh, Ivan Hogan 63 to 83. We're going to let him go. Release. Uh, Hellion is a 73 to 87. Arzen 73 to 87. Uh, Johannes Winkler, 73 to 93. He is Austrian. And Nut Bertensen, uh, 76 to 82. Six foot six. We'll see how he develops. All right, the scout is back from Spain once again. Uh, we're keeping an eye here on Valentin Prado. Uh, he's dropped back off his 94 rating. Oh, Ricardo Pastore, 450 grand. Looks like a left winger or a striker. We'll bring him into the academy. All right, Austria, come on. Julian Winkler, and he's still getting up there. Anton Meyer, well, that overall's jumped and so is his potential. 180 grand, we'll sign him in to our academy. Uh, what else have we got sitting here? Matthias Pischler, 325, sign him in. Okay, that's good. We're getting some signings for Austria now. All right, Norway, here we are. Come on. Oh, there's one. Odegaard, well, we'll continue to scout him. Uh, Jan Martinson, 300 grand, sign him in. All right, continue to scout. Right, let's have a look here at the calendar for August. Uh, Mulder FK, I'm pretty sure they beat us. Um, but uh, I'm reluctant to play that first game. I want to see if we get any more signings in. Um, so we'll go all the way through here and we'll take on uh, Sanfjord. Um, we're going to let the Europeans play out themselves this year. Right, first game of the season away to Mulder FK. And it's a 2-1 victory. O'Connor! Gets himself a goal on debut. Right, Maximilian Palacios has finally accepted a contract. $8.6,000 per week. He is a right back, right wing back from Argentina. Welcome to Rosenborg. Right, first team rolling out here against Lilstrom, And it's a 5-0 victory. Galo 
with a hat trick. Right, the reserves team rolling out here against Maritimo. And uh, Bent has dropped down to a 71. He's on the decline. We've got a one. No, we lose 2 1. <laughs> well done, boys. Right, away against Stromsgott is the first team out, and it's a 2 0 loss. Right, the reserves here in the way leg. We're 2 1 down, and that makes it 3 1 on aggregate. And uh, Maritimo goes through. Right, players leaving on international duty. Niall O'Connor's getting the call up for Ireland. And George Fraser gets the call up for Canada. All right, here we go. It must be time to get into some game play. And we are at the Le Kendall Stadion. It is Rosenborg hosting uh, Sanfjord. And, uh, well, we've picked up Niall O'Connor. And we've picked up uh, Maximilio Palacios at right back. So uh, some new additions here to our playing squad. Uh, it is all regens and youth academy players here in the team. Uh, it's third versus fourth. Only three games into the season. But uh, hopefully we can get going here. And hopefully, with us in control, we can uh, really put some pressure on the league this season. Gallo will be the captain. Uh, Nongla O'Connor will play on the left-hand side. Well, We're the top-scoring team. Well, that would come down to that uh, game where Gallo got a hat-trick. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting. I mean, the transfer window is just about to shut. Obviously, we can sign free agents up any time through the season. More Youth Academy players will come through, and this team will start getting a lot stronger. But really, one eye on Austria and one eye on moving on to group number three. There is the starting lineup: Fraser, Palacios, Lena, uh, Sykes, uh, Lena is Austrian. He's a left back or right back. He's going to play centre back today. Tremblay, Martinson, O'Connor, Bernson, Garlo, and the Austrian Gruber, diehard with a vengeance, is up front. So uh, let's get into this game and see if we can take some points. Comes across for Niall O'Connor. Niall O'Connor takes the strike. And it'll be out for a corner. Garlo. Martin gets the head up. There's Noel O'Connor. Welcome to Norway. He's left his hometown. He's left his home country to play in the Norwegian League. Oh, it was a good cross, but picked off. Throw from Garlo. There's Martinson. Plays this one forward for the run of Noel O'Connor. He's got the break. He's got the space. He's got the time. It's Noel O'Connor. Oh! Oh, Noel! Try to get the pass away, picked off. Burnson comes flying through, he slips it off. Comes out the back. There's Taylor, gets the touch on. Gruber! Ah! Oh, well, Garlo missed the challenge, that allowed them inside. And they slip one past Fraser. And they take the lead here in the 38th minute. They haven't really brought too much to the table so far, but they get in there, get one past the Canadian keeper. And make it 1-0. Well, Garlo looked to get the challenge and then just gave the ball back away. And a quick pass inside, unmarked, straight past Fraser. 1-0. Well, there is the whistle for half time. Had a few opportunities but didn't make the most of them. We are 1-0 down. Well, there's Garlo. That's some good work. Works his way forward here, the young Italian. He's into the box. He'll take the strike and he's blazed over the top. Good tackle from Tremblay. Brings it forward for Gruber. Lays this one off. It's Burnson. Works his way out wide. Slips it off here for O'Connor. Noel O'Connor. Cuts back. Brings the ball forward. Oh, Jesus. Gruber. O'Connor. Plays it forward. Come on, Grubes. Oh, yes! Gruber! That's him! Wow! And the miniature Austria striker absolutely steals one off the keeper gets his first career goal here that is brilliant and a sign of things to come from the little Austrian well done Grooms gets in we equalize in the most miracle fashion and it's 1-1 one, one. oh Lombardi's happy gets in well, Michaels has just checked in and he takes the ball on here and he slips it down the line. Mikkelbus has also just checked in. Down the line for Mikkelbus. Can he get a cross in? He can for Gruber! Oh! <laughs> Noel O'Connor's come through while the keeper's been clattered. Oh, Niall. And there's the whistle. Well, we fight back. We take a point. Well, six shots to five. They had the possession. 16 tackles. And, uh, well, Gruber gets his first goal of his career. He gets a 7.8. Well done. 
Right, the transfer deadline day has finished. Let's have a look at our youth academy. Uh, Jada, 80 to 86. I am going to release him. We need to thin this squad out. Uh, Mikkelbus will hold on to. Johannesson, 74 to 90. 61 overall will hold on to. Oliver Hamilton, 80 to 86 right back. Uh, probably don't need him here at the club, so we're going to release. Uh, Ricardo Pastore, a left winger, 70 to 90, potential 61 overall. Um, we'll hold on to him. Uh, Matthias Pischler, 61 overall, 73 to 93, physically strong centre back. We'll let him grow in the academy. Jan Martinson, 85 to 94, potential left back, 59 overall. That's good. Uh, Steinar Rasmussen, 79 to 85, will be released. Jordi Garcia is a 75 to 93. Uh, Anton Meyer, another centre-back here for Austria, 75 to 93, potential physically strong. Uh, Asbjorn Helen, 78 to 86, 5 foot 9, we'll hold on to him. Arsen is a 79 to 87 midfielder, and uh, no, we're going to release him. Uh, Johans Winkler, Austrian lad, 73 to 89, technically gifted Cam, we'll hold him. And Bernson, 76 to 9, uh, 82, will be released. Right, so September... World Cup qualifiers are to begin. And we've got Romania and Switzerland. Uh, so, um, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Oh, there's lots of World Cup games coming up. All right. Um, all right, fuck it. Let's play both of these games, obviously. And uh, we'll simulate the rest of September. And we'll uh, round out this episode. All right, here we go. It's our first chance at qualifying for the World Cup in control of Austria. And it's going to be, you know, we've got all the real players in here still. The, the Youth Academy players haven't come through, of course. So um, we'll just see how we go. We'll test the waters here with this Austrian squad. But uh, you, you'd assume that this World Cup isn't going to be ours. Although our group looks okay. I mean, France is the big team in our group. The rest of those teams in there, I think, are beatable. So um, we'll see how we go. There might be a few simulations through the group stages with this uh, Austrian squad. But uh, we'll get out here in game number one, see if we can get us off to a good start. Now, I have seen in the comments, use Alaba in the midfield. So he's playing centre midfield. I'm going to move Baumgartlinger to left back. I don't think he can play there, but... Uh, we'll try him there. He looks quite defensive anyway. Just don't have a real big left back coming through. So uh, probably something we need to look at if we are going to play Alaba in the midfield. And uh, we don't care about the formalities. Let's just press start and check out both teams. Um, player ratings, that'll do. Okay, so that's how we're lining up. Uh, Hulhauser playing central defensive midfield. He's up to a 77. I don't think he was in the squad last time. And the Romanians, well... Yeah, I don't know any of their players, so let's get into this game. It's the kickoff in the group stage, their first match. Oh, Alaba straight into the midfield. He's straight out on a run. Oh, keeps going. Can he get across, he can. And cleared out the back. Work from Savic up. Oh, fell. Oh, don't tell me he's injured. Please don't be injured. Looks his way forward. Here's the cross. Alaba has missed. Well, it was a good cross in. Alaba got on the end of it, but he's put it wide. The Romanians play forward. We have to be careful here. Oh, Bauer gets in, but he's given the ball straight to the opposition. And they fly through and they put it in the back of the net. That was some poor defensive work from the Austrians. Handed Romania a gift. And they take the lead here in the 26th minute. Well, Austria coming together here for the World Cup. It's not playing as a team at the moment. I'm not sure who that pass was. It was misguided and a well-worked goal there by Romania. 1-0. Back through the middle. Plays it off. David Alaba. Good progress with this attack. Nodovic. Sabica. David Alaba. Oh! Hello! Hello! David Alaba has absolutely thundercut one in. And we equalise in the 33rd minute. Lovely play. Lovely strike. He has threaded the eye of a needle there. And that is a brilliant finish. And it's 1 1. Austria back in the game. 
Oh, felled and injured and no penalty. Come on. He's it back. Troth. David Alaba. Oh, good save. Not a bitch. Corner. Oh, my days. That was close. And that should be half time at 1 1. Oh, Burton's tall up. Keeps it in. No, he doesn't. Well, there's the whistle for half time at 1 1. That's the ball. Works his way forward. Oh, it's a lovely turn. He'll lay it off. David Alaba. Oh, great save. Big centre back just pushing down the line. No one coming at him, and he's on a run here, Dragovic. Not sure if the old boy can cross. Let's have a look. Into the box. No, it was pretty shit. He glides through the midfield. Slips it off. David Alaba again. David Alaba. Oh, he's worked the keeper. We'll get a corner. Is Austria on the attack deep into the box? Hintiger gets up and he's missed. Let's make some changes. Schaub and Gregor Zich check in for Schoff and Bergstaller. Good challenge from Bumgartlinger. Here's David Alaba. Plays it forward. Gregor Zich. Come on, where's your pace, mate? Cuts back. Oh, tried the corner. Tried the cross. Flies out the back. Schaub! Oh, yes! Come on, you Austrians! An 87th minute banger from Schaub. And we've got the lead at 2 1. Get here. Well, persistence pays off there. We have put a lot of shots on the park today. And finally, we get a second goal. Gregzic feed it inside. It took a deflection, and Schraub just pounced. And puts it in the back of the net. It's 2-1. Well, here comes the Romanians. Oh, they're slipping through everywhere. They're slipping through everywhere, and they've put it wide. There's the whistle. Well, we fight back. We take a 2-1 victory, and we get our opening points of the qualifiers. 16 shots to three. A domineering performance. And uh, let's have a look. Sabitzer gets himself a man of the match, 9.1. Right, the final scout report here in Spain. So if we want to make any signings, we're going to have to do it now. Uh, Pablo Acosta, only 70 grand. Does have potential, though. Um, no, we're going to pass. We're going to pass on all the Spaniards. Right, Austria. We need to be very careful with our selections here. We need more Austrians into this squad. Walter Blumberger, 220. We'll sign him in. Oh, Jonas Zinger. Yes. Okay, that's good. A couple more Austrians into the academy. And the final Norwegian. Scout. Odegaard looks good. He's going to take a while to develop. We'll sign him in, though, because he can probably help out Rosenborg in the future. Uh, Olsen. No. No. Okay. These ones are done. All right, so I have upgraded the middle scout to four-star, five-star now, so hopefully that will help us out, bringing back some more Austrian talent. Let's go off to Norway, of course. And uh, we're just going to keep searching any player here in Norway just to try and uh, help out and see what we can get back. Now, Austrian-wise, well, uh, we need a striker and we need some defenders. Um, so I'm going to go physically strong again, see if we can get some big units into this team. And the third one, of course, we need to randomly generate. And it is number 79. Okay, 79 is from Jordan McLean. Thank you for your comment. And he said, Scout Slovakia or Saudi Arabia for technically gifted? Well, Slovakia is there first on your list, so we'll head off there for technically gifted players. Right, I am going to sim this one here against Switzerland. Let me know in the comments, do you want to see every international game or do you want to wait until we've started to bring in some of our youth academy players? It's really up to you guys what you want to see in regards to the international side of stuff here with Austria. Let me know in the comments if you'd prefer to see every single game played uh, with the World Cup stuff. Obviously, that's pretty much what the series is based around. So if you do want to see every game, let me know in the comments. If you're happy with a few simulations here and there, let me know. Give me some ideas on what you would like to see. Unfortunately, we lose to uh, Switzerland 3-1. Right, resuming back here in the Norwegian League, and it's a 2-2 draw uh, for Rosenborg. O'Connor gets himself two goals. Right, it's so another away game here for Rosenborg against Sognell. And we come through with a 3-0 victory. Gala with a goal, but he's picked up a knock, and Milling got himself too. Rosenberg at home against ODD, and it's a 1-0 victory. Trosden with the goal. Right, first of the month. It's time for another U Squad monthly report. There's been a few in this episode. Uh, Mikkelbus 83 to 89. Azinga 78 to 94. 
Uh, looking like he could be a good player for Austria in the future. Johansson, 72 to 86, has dropped off a little bit, but uh, we'll hold him there because we need some more defenders. Ricardo Pastore, 67 to 83, has dropped right off the perch, so uh, we're actually going to release him. Uh, Walter Blumberger, 72 to 88. And Matthias Pischlaser, 61 overall, 74 to 90 centre back. Uh, Jan Martinson, 84 to 94. Odegaard, 81 to 94. Jordi Garcia, 77 to 91. Anton Meyer, 81 to 94. Uh, Helen is 79 to 85. He's dropped away a little bit as well. Uh, Johannes Winkler, 73 to 87. Right, let's get into some player upgrades. We're mainly going to focus on upgrading Austrians in case they do get a future call-up. So Gruber got his first goal. Uh, so let's give him an upgrade, pick him a number, and uh, upgrade his kit. The one with the most thumbs up in the comments section uh, will get the upgrade. Right, so let's have a look at how the squad is progressing. Uh, Helen is a 61. He's gone up one. Fraser we've got to a 75 uh, with training. So he'll be the starting goalkeeper now in the ones. Uh, we've got a few goalkeepers here. Jürgen Schusteris, 53, gone up three. Our uh, Austrian goalkeeping prospect. Palacio, 72, gone up two. Uh, Clemens Lena, the Austrian, 63, gone up two. Three star, three star, of course. Uh, Gunderson, 58, gone up two. Taylor is a 65. Uh, what else have we got going on here? A few of the older boys starting to lose some rating. Bamber's a 56, gone up two. Odegaard, 54, gone up one. Fella was here when we got here. Sykes is a 72, gone up two. Uh, Vergara, 54, gone up one. Tremblay, 62, gone up two. Uh, Alistair Fraser, 51, gone up two. Uh, Lund is a 54, gone up two. Bellow, 49, gone up two. Brown, 52, gone up two. Gunderson, 53, gone up three. So a lot of these lads I did sign in at the end, towards the end of the season, thinking that we might have got promoted. So some of them may not have the best uh, potential. So we could look at selling some of those lads off. Uh, Nolo Connors is 76. He's gone up one. Uh, Mikkelbar, 64, gone up two. Galo's a 78, now gone up one. Uh, Martinson, 64, gone up two. Williams, 58, gone up two. Ericsson's a 60, gone up two. Showing great potential. Burton, 65, gone up one, an exciting prospect. Gruber's a 58, he's gone up two. I wish he had the hair that he had in his little picture, but uh, unfortunately not. Uh, Bentner's dropped off as well. Uh, we've got Michael, 62, gone up two. Uh, Overlund, 55, gone up two. So hey, the squad's progressing, but um, yeah, as for the young lads, they're going to need a couple more seasons here and we'll probably be gone. So I uh, just need to set them up so that, you know, they're ready to go. Right, so we sit in second, 14 points there. We're scoring goals, but we've also conceded a few. Hopefully as Fraser's uh, rating starts going up, we can get a little bit more defensive. Uh, I am training Sykes and Palacios as well, just trying to strengthen the defense so that, uh, you know, Rosenborg can try and finish top of the table. But that's where we'll leave the journey, man. That's probably been a little bit longer an episode. Make sure you're letting me know on what you want to see in regards to the edit, whether you want to see uh, quick simulations or whether you just want a monthly wrap-up of games. Uh, that'll sort of short the episodes a little bit you'll still get that information but probably not who scored the goals and stuff like that uh, and as for the World Cup stuff should we be playing every game do you want to see every single game of the Austrian uh, set up through all of the World Cups that we play or should we just simulate some of the qualifiers while we've still got a lot of real players here and uh, maybe more progress through it and look more to the future and uh, see what team we can build personally, not just, you know, the real players that are out there. But let me know in the comments. I'll uh, filter through all that and we'll start getting that happening in the next couple of episodes. But hopefully you're enjoying the journey, man. Hopefully you're having good fun with it at home yourselves. I've seen a few teams and stuff being posted to me on Twitter, which is absolutely great. Love seeing that. And uh, we will see you in another episode. I'm Spiring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one.